So the African continent now needs to make a shift. We need to reposition ourselves from being producers and exporters of primary products and importers of finished products. We need to move up the value chain. We need to occupy the space in global value chains, which we are told is the growing and most dynamic part of global value chains. We need to become industrial producers and exporters. The option of simply producing value-added products and exporting those to the developed or the rich world is no longer available. The rich world remains enmeshed in low growth and in fact is trying to reindustrialize itself. So the options of following the growth path of simply exporting to the developed world is no longer available. We need to have another leg which builds on our internal markets. We will find ways to develop and strengthen the partnership between Africa and India. It is already a significant and important and a growing partnership. It can only gather momentum, it can only make progress based on the common principles that we both support of inclusive, mutually beneficial, people oriented development in both our regions and our continents and in the world as a whole. Equally important is the role that we play together in the changing economic scenario in the world, which I term as the rebalancing of the global economy. Despite the recent setbacks that we have seen, both in the context of the financial and the economic crisis of 2008 and 9, and the global economy has not recovered from that, but our economies, both in Africa and in India, we have shown or demonstrated our capacity and and the ability to weather the storm. When we look at the number of investments, it is encouraging. Investments from India and Africa have crossed 50 billion US dollars. I'm talking of the last one decade. And the two-way trade, yes, we will be hopefully reaching the target. It is a very modest target, I must say, considering that the numbers that we have, the strength of our economies, India in PPP terms is the third largest economy, but in real terms also we are closing in on $2 trillion, hopefully soon. But we are also mindful of the fact that this is a difficult period for the global economy. And this year again, there is a contraction. The developed countries are not going to see robust growth and not recovery in Eurozone. So the United States of America, there has been recovery, but that's not enough to power the global recovery per se. But Africa will register strong growth.